How y'all doing? It's your boy E Bright Guy, and I'm back with another video. And for this video, I want to talk about different credentials and certifications that you can get as a dietitian. Once you become experienced and you settle into a particular field in dietetics, and so this is just how you can further distinguish yourself within the field as well as increase your chances of earning money. And I wanna, I'm gonna go through a few different organizations and just detail all the certifications that they offer. And so the first one I wanna talk about is from the Commission of Dietetic Registration or CDR. So their certifications require you to be a dietitian for a minimum of two years, and you also have to have documented 2,000 hours of work in that specific specialty. And then you have to take an exam. So the exam ranges from around $350 to $400. It just depends on when you register for it. It's offered twice a year, so the earlier you register for it, the cheaper it's gonna be. And most of the, in each certification requires you to take an exam, like I said, and the exam is usually around 150 to 160 questions. And usually out of those questions, 20 to 25 of them won't count. So they're considered post test questions. And I think it's, I'm not even sure why, they do that for the RD exam as well. So let me just get into the certification that CDR. Offers. So the first one is Certified Specialist in Pediatric Nutrition or CSP. And so these dietitians are those who work directly with sick or healthy children from the ages of newborns to 18 years of age. And the work settings are usually in hospitals, daycares, WIC clinics, or Planned Parenthood clinics. The next certification would be Certified Specialist in Pediatric Critical Care Nutrition or CSPCC. And this is a brand new certification. And so these are pediatric dietitians who provide medical, medical nutrition therapy to critically ill infants, children, and adolescents. And usually these dietitians spend most of the time in pediatric ICUs of hospitals. The next one would be Certified Specialist in Renal Nutrition or CSR. And these are dietitians who work with children and or adults with chronic or acute kidney disease, end-stage kidney disease, or kidney transplantation. And so the work setting of these dietitians usually consists of working in a dialysis clinic or in a hospital. From my experience, I think it's more beneficial for you to work in a dialysis clinic to prepare you for the exam. The next certification would be Certified Specialist in ger Geratological, I can't even pronounce that word, nutrition, or geriatrics nutrition. So these are dietitians who work with older adults uh, to, to design and implement nutritional strategies to improve health and quality of life. Um, these dietitians work directly with older adults in hospitals, assistant living facilities, nursing homes, home health, um, companies, hospice, correctional facilities. So this is probably the most broad certification um, in order to qualify for it because you just have to work with that older adult population, which is what most of us work with, whether you're in diabetes, uh, renal, and things like that. So almost most dietitians can qualify for that cert certificate. The next one is Certified Specialist in Oncology Nutrition, or CSO. And so these are dietitians who work directly with individuals that are at risk for or have developed any type of cancer. And a work setting usually in includes hospitals, cancer centers, or hospices. The next one is Certified Specialist in Sports Dietetics. And so these are dietitians who work directly with amateur or elite professional athletes. They create customized meal plans and educate athletes on healthy eating to improve athletic performance during training regimens or during competitions. And so possible work environments include working in like high schools, colleges, athletic uh, training facilities, or with professional sports teams. And the last certification with CDR will be Certified Specialist in Obesity and Weight Management, which is CSOWM. 
And this is also a new certification and it's kind of unique compared to the other ones because these are health professionals who work with individuals on weight management and obesity. And these professionals empower, support, educate patients on the risk factors associated with being overweight and obese. And the reason why this one is unique is because this, creden this credential is considered interdisciplinary. So it's not just dietitians who can get this credential. Nurse practitioners, uh, exercise physiologists, clinical psychologists, social workers, pharmacists, physical therapists, and physicians assistants can also receive this credential. All right, and so that's it with CDR. The next organization that offers certifications for dietitians uh, is the National Certification Board for Diabetes Educators. And so the certification is Certified Diabetes Educator, or CDE. And these are health professionals who possess comprehensive knowledge and experience in pre-diabetes and diabetes prevention and management. And so in order to get this certification, you must complete at least a thousand hours of diabetes management and you must obtain at least 15 hours of, con of continuing education uh, related to diabetes just to take the exam. And so the exam is 175 questions, is also $350. And once you pass the exam and get the certification, you have to recertify every five years. And so to recertify, you either have to obtain 75 continuing education hours in diabetes, or you can retake the exam. And so, and I forgot to mention and with CDR, the renewal process is five years and every five years you have to retake the exam on that. So you can't just get continuing education hours to, to continue to get that. All right, and so the next organization I wanna talk about is the National Board of Nutrition Support Certification. And so their certification is Certified Nutrition Support Clinician. And so these are dietitians who work in like the ICUs, deal a lot with parental and enteral nutrition. So these people, deal with very sick um, patients. And so this certification is also interdisciplinary. Um, so it's available to nurses, nurse practitioners, pharmacists, physicians, and physicians assistants. And they used to, they used to split them up. So dietitians used to be called um, certified nutrition support dietitians, but now they clumped everybody up and they gave them the title uh, nutrition support clinicians. So everybody has to take the same test now. It used to be divided. So like dietitians, you had to just take study for things pertaining to nutrition, but now I think you have to know everything. Um, and with this one, it requires no experience or documented uh, work hours to take the exam. So you can just go in and take the exam, which I don't recommend. Um, and a certification is valid for five years. And so in order to get recertified, you have to take the exam over again. All right. And the last organization that offers a cert certif certificate, certificate for dietitians will be the Academy of Lactation Policy and Practice. And their certification is Certified Lactation Counselor or CLC. And this is usually dietitians that work in like WIC clinics or um, in like women's hospitals that deal, that have a lot of, they deal with a lot of labor and delivery. So these are pretty much dietitians who are experts in lactation and teaching uh, mothers about the importance of breastfeeding and actually teaching them how to breastfeed and um, use breast pumps and things like that. And so in order to take the exam and get certified, you need at least 45 documented hours of breastfeeding related education in the past year before you take the exam. And the, the exam is only $100 with a $20 uh, application fee. And every three years you have to recertify for this certification. And it's pretty easy. All you have to do is obtain 18 continuing education hours to recertify. So those are just a few of the certif cert certifications you can get as a dietitian. Another thing that I left out about the ones that are given by CDR, once you get a certification in one of those areas, that counts for all 75 continuing education hours you need every five years to be a dietitian. So that's another um, benefit for doing that as well as, you know what I'm saying, being distinguished and possibly getting more pay. 
and other other certifications that I didn't mention can include like being a certified personal trainer or like a yoga instructor things like that so there's a lot of certifications and a lot of things that can help distinguish you as a dietitian if you have anyone that I haven't listed in this video you can put them down in, in the um, description or I mean in the comments and also I wrote an article on my website I have the link down in the description y'all have a nice day and if you're a nutrition student or a dietetic intern and you're concerned about passing the RD exam feel free to join my Facebook group RD exam prep which will be down in the description and this is where you can be part of a community that will answer any questions that you may have as well as I provided free study guides, notes, and practice exams. And while you're at it, follow me on Instagram at EatRightGuy and visit my website, EatRightGuy.com, where I post weekly blogs on nutrition and dietetics related topics.